Welcome back to part two. Here we are. I'm already messing up. Didn't select Rebecca. She has all the ammo. She has, she has the herb kit, um, that's inherent in her character. Who and, and and yeah, I, I'm picking up items that I shouldn't be picking up. Whoops! I told you this is gonna keep happening. <laughs> I'm always gonna press the raw button. I press the right button. I don't know. I just feel like the Y button should be where you look at your inventory, not switching characters. Oh, uh, maybe. Ah, whatever. It doesn't matter. All right, let's see. Oh, is that... Hold on. Is there a map? <clears throat> Alright. Gotta learn how to use the map now. So we're uh, on the first floor. That makes sense. Okay. Oh, okay. They let you know... That's cool. They let you know that there's an item, a key item that's <clears throat> here in the corner. Alright, let's press the button here. Matter of fact, maybe I should... Actually, actually, I should probably take these items and... If there's like a storage... Is there a storage box in the save room? Oh, gosh, this is going to take more time. Screw it. We'll just... We'll just keep going. Because matter of fact, we can take all these items, these extra items that we have, or not using, and put them in the storage box. I mean, that's how I would approach it, but I don't know if... Honestly, I really should have saved, too. Uh, we're going to just wing it. We're going to wing it. If I die, if I die, <laughs> I, mean, I, I mean, at least I, I, I had the opportunity to save, and I didn't take it. Hopefully, I don't die. Ah, oh, there's the ice pick. Rebecca can use this. Wait, but then... I won't have any slots for anything else. Alright, well, we're not looking too good right now. Oh, come on. Please be a storage box in here. There's ammo. Can I add this? Alright, cool. That's nice enough. They add. <clears throat> There's... Uh, an ink ribbon here and a nice showy flash uh, showy shotgun <clears throat> you need two blocks to carry this item oh great I have a feeling that we're probably gonna can I leave this here we're probably gonna end up going into a boss fight They look like some kind of eggs. A puddle of slime has formed around them. <clears throat> Alright, so we don't we can't go there. But I feel like they're forcing us here to go back, so are my suspicions correct that we're gonna go into a boss fight? We're gonna find out. Yes, my suspicions were correct. <laughs> What is a scorpion? Uh, what is a scorpion doing on a train? I get it. So I've heard that using a knife is actually easier to kill this thing. How do I? Ooh. So I think this is what you do. You just kind of just run at him and just poke at him, poke at him. Okay. Maybe we should approach this differently. Stab him, and then run back. Stab, run back, and then back up. <clears throat> Alright. Actually, just wait for him to approach us then. Instead of pursue him. How does a small knife weaken... <laughs> this guy has like a stinger like on the size of our 
on the side of the size of our torso. <laughs> I don't, I don't believe how this is working. Fun fact, I was actually... <laughs> I got stoned by a scorpion back in high school. Long story short, I was picking up boxes in like culinary class and I uh, felt this sharp pain in my chest and I was like wondering like, why do I have so much pain? And so I kept like touching the spot where I was being stung and eventually like, I was being stung in other parts of my body and there just came a point where I just I just took my shirt off in class. Oh, what the f It just got it just got slapped. Yo, how is my health? How am I fine? I just took a stinger. I took a huge stinger. How am I still fine? Wow, they weren't kidding that um this guy has like more defense than Rebecca. We actually did it. I don't want to say we did it unscathed because we got knocked the hell back, but we are okay. All right, so that's awesome. Um, yeah, we didn't have to use any items. Uh, unfortunately, we're gonna have to do a lot of backtracking. But actually, let me just take my. Oh my gosh! And there's another tool. Okay, so we'll take this tool. We'll drop. I mean. Yeah, we won't be using the knife. That was just, I think, for that special occasion. <clears throat> okay. But anyway, going back to the story. Yeah, I took my shirt off. People noticed that I had all these bumps on my body. And, um, yeah, they called the fire department. It was embarrassing. Had to sit right in front of the center of the room while I was being inspected by, like, health, uh, health <clears throat> personnel and everything. But everything was okay. I hadn't I didn't have an allergic reaction or anything like that. Gosh, so I just sorry, I'm just thinking that I just don't have a lot of open slots. <clears throat> so we have to go all the way back to give Rebecca the ice pick and then we have that item to remove that panel. And I didn't save. <clears throat> so yeah, we're off to a great start. We can say that. I mean, good thing we didn't even use up a lot of ammo. That's the uh, that's positive side of things. All right. Maybe we can finally regroup with Rebecca. <clears throat> okay, so we press Y. Okay, sweet. So, <clears throat> all right. So it looks like we have to manually push that in. So we press X. Say use. The door of Dom is unstuck now. Oh, great. I hope we don't have to come back to that. <laughs> I'm sorry, if I cough, I have to pull away from the mic. <clears throat> See, I feel like I'm coughing into your ears and that's probably what you're hearing. All right, let's group up. Follow me. Yeah. 
Okay, so let's look at our inventory and see how this looks. Oh, right, I dropped the red herb. All right, he has that item. Okay, so we can switch. Hopefully, oh, Rebecca, you need to move. <clears throat> Nothing's going to come out. I always feel like something's going to come out. Access panel, you need some kind of tool. Again, we have to manually do this. So let's do it. Key area, nothing's going to pop out. I always feel like something's going to happen. I wonder if Rebecca will jump in with us. Oh, there's a crawl space. Ah, what's probably what's going to end up happening. I'm going to jump in. Rebecca's going to stay back. That's when the monster attacks. Unless... Never, oh, never mind. I don't believe it. Alright. Am I in caution now? Billy, you are a trooper. Shotgun. And then we have... <clears throat> Like a gas tank. What's that for? I don't know what any of these are for. I know we need that. For the briefcase. Okay, so she'll have that. Rebecca will be my storage. My storage person. Matter of fact, here, like I'll periodically give her some ammo so she can help fight. There you go, so that uh, she has uh, space. Okay, so, with that said, then she can pick up these items. I doubt she has enough space for this. She does actually have space. Alright, so that's everything there. <clears throat> the door's now unlocked. Good. Okay, good. What's here? <clears throat> this leads to the outside. It's the release lever. Pull it. Oh, it allows you to get that hook. Okay. It's in it locks. Okay. So basically here, if I move Billy up here, she does this. Pull it, yep. Then you have to switch. And you get like this grappling hook. <clears throat> or hook shot. My bad. Hook shot. Uh, <clears throat> this device should only be used when inspecting dif difficult to access car roofs or when connecting special trains. Return to its proper location after use. One, where to use? There's a ladder outside the small window. But okay, so we know where that's at. Fire the device so that it hooks high onto the ladder. Using the winch to climb after securing the hook, use the winch to lift yourself up. This grappling hook can only lift one person at a time. Be aware that the unit may be damaged if lifting more than 80 kilograms. Wait, so how much... 80 kilograms? How much does... How much does this guy weigh? <clears throat> Oh, I gotta look that up. Isn't it like for every kilogram it's 2.2 pounds or something like that? Yeah, let me try to do the math. 80 times 2.2. That's 176 pounds. How much is, uh... Oh, snap. I forgot. Rebecca. How much does Billy weigh? Did they have his pounds on that... Um, when, when they had his profile. This way. Okay. 
Makes you want to look it up. Whatever, we'll just use Rebecca. Who cares? We'll just use Rebecca. I don't want that thing to snap. I heard that it might think there might be something special with it later on, so I don't want it to snap if <laughs> I mean Billy's five foot nine. I don't I don't know how much he weighs. Alright, so let's go through here. This thing we're gonna open now? There it is! Oh my god, that scared the hell out of me, sorry. Shoot Rebecca. <laughs> Music is still playing. He's still alive, Rebecca. He's still alive. Shoot him. <clears throat> Damn, that thing was loud in my ears when he opened this door. What's in here? You can't carry this item. Oh, so you use... Oh. Oh, so you use the gas tank with that to make Molotov cocktails. I know that the Molotov cocktails are the weakness for uh, the leech monsters. <clears throat> that we're going to have uh, in the future, so... Matter of fact, that's actually really important. And we have no room. Seriously, like, there is no save. Oh. I did it again. I'm sorry. Okay, so. I, I feel tempted to combine the herbs, but... Actually, let me just... Alright, let, let's just drop this. And then we'll get, we'll take the Molotov. Wait, can we even make Molotovs out of this? Actually, we can. All right. All right, so we have the Molotovs. We have this key item. Let's continue. I have a feeling that if we leave, like, Billy here, he might get attacked by these zombies. <clears throat> Maybe it's better to leave him in a safer spot. Because, yeah, because the hookshot's going to be used here. I had a feeling. Wait. Oh my gosh. I'm sorry, Rebecca. I didn't know where that he was. I didn't know. <clears throat> oh my gosh. She, she's in caution now. Wow. She can't take a bite. <clears throat> Billy could take everything. He can take a stinger from a scorpion. Uh, uh, might I <laughs> might I say a scorpion that's oversized? But um, he can get bit. He can get tossed around. And yo, he's perfectly fine. We're okay. Let's see. Okay, so. She can take the healing item. We're going to swap it up, so... I am so sorry. I can't even do this right. Gosh, I just... He can take... I'm going to have to start leaving things on the uh, bottom here. Okay, so... We need the hook shot. And then Billy can pick up the... Uh, see, the thing is, like, I hope that I can... Uh, I doubt I'll die. So I'm going to trust myself that to not get hit. Alright, did I... Where's the first aid spray? And I just feel like leaving Billy here is just a big mistake. But we'll find out. I mean, hey, at least if you were to play this game, you know, don't leave Billy with these 
Don't leave pillies with the undead. <clears throat> All right. Uh, X. Yep, let's jump down the crap. Oh boy. Uh, hopefully he didn't see us. Alright, hopefully he can... What's this knife for? Is it like... Kind of like a safety net. If you get stabbed, you can't carry this item now. <clears throat> I think it's just a knife. I can't carry this item right now. I, I doubt that I need this hook shot again, so I'll just drop it. Is this like the second part of the gold ring? It's probably something silver, right? Yeah, there it is. Okay, so that's the briefcase. So we have all the key items for the <clears throat> for the briefcase. Oh, what? The eggs are pupating. Okay, I have, gosh, I'm being attacked, um, actually, I don't know where this leads, oh, it leads right over here, okay, not bad, come on, okay, was there something up here that was important? <clears throat> so if the eggs all hatch, this might lead to... Oh my gosh. Alright, don't waste ammo, Rebecca. I have a strong feeling that there's no item boxes in this game. Whatever, I just use this. That's for the briefcase that's going to be downstairs. Is there anything else? There's a shotgun and then there's shotgun ammo. Oh, good grief. <clears throat> it's hard to decide. I guess I'm going to just say screw the red herb. <clears throat> Alright, so Billy will take these items. Alright, so we have a oh my gosh, we're I feel like nothing can mess with us now. Why do I have a feeling when the train crashes? Oh, it's spoiler, my bad. <clears throat> it 
Let's see. Just ignore what I said. <laughs> Alright, so what's in here that's so important? I'm not trying to use it, I'm trying to examine. Ah, a blue key card, okay. Alright then, so here... Actually, why am I doing that? She should be having... She should be having the herbs, and she's the one that can... <clears throat> she's able to make things with it. Alright, so where's where does this key card thing go then? She's not close enough. The door is now unlocked. You won't be needing this card anymore? Throw it away? Sure. Great! So now we have more space. This is Delta Team. This is Delta Team. We have gained control of the train. Over. Understood. This does not make any sense. How was the T-Virus leaked? And why did it contaminate both the lab and the mansion, as well as a train almost three miles away? That's irrelevant. We must make sure no knowledge of this gets out. Destroy the train. Completely. How far away are you from the nearest branch line? About ten minutes, to. Huh? <laughs> what happened? Hmm. Do they even comment that the engine chamber is badly damaged? There's no way to fix it. The train will either derail or crash. I gotta stop this thing. Brake operation manual. Using the brake control, the following three steps are necessary to operate the brakes. Step one, activating the, the controls. Brake controls are located in the following locations. All right, first car, driver's compartment, rear deck of the fifth car. To activate the system, you must insert the magnetic card into the device in the fifth car. This will supply power to both sets of controls. Enter the rear deck code. Enter the code for the rear deck unit to release the lock. After this, the driver's compartment code can be entered. Step three, enter driver's compartment code. Enter the code for the driver's compartment unit to remove the lock. Upon completion of these three steps, the manual brakes can be used. Who will stay behind? Uh, I guess I'll play Billy. <clears throat> I'll go over to the back deck and manipulate the control panel for the brake. Then you apply the brake from here, okay? All right. Billy. What? Be careful. Yeah. Alright, I'm gonna grab this. Alright. Take the magnetic card. Guys, we are approaching 30 minutes just now, alright? So, I'm gonna resume it. This is the end of part two. I'll see you in part three.